from Madrid. It's crazy here. It's definitely the craziest city I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> the moment we got here, there was like so many people that you feel like you're on the New York subway, New York City subway, but you're outside. It's like throngs of people and just stuff happening everywhere. It's actually pretty cool. So today we're gonna be showing you what we eat in Madrid, Spain. Join us. My mom and I started the day at this place called La Rollery. Uh, there's a couple in Madrid that we saw, and it's a really big, very popular breakfast spot, and we heard from Happy Cow that it had at least one vegan option. So we had these yummy whole wheat vegan croissants, which they could make with vegan butter or jam or olive oil. Um, they had vegan lattes and fresh squeezed orange juice, so it was just a great place to start the day. We just finished eating at La Comisaria, <laughs> and that place is so cute. If you guys are in the area of Madrid, I highly recommend going there. Go when you're like medium hungry for like a light lunch or something, because really they just have hummus and some other like small plate salads. They had salads. some tapas. They had some, some tapas. Really good tapas. But everything is vegan except for it. You can add like an egg to stuff, and like one other thing was not vegan. But so it's super vegan friendly. And yeah, yum. <laughs> Somebody needs to open a hummuseria in California. Cause Agreed. We would it would be so popular in Berkeley. It's all different kinds of hummus. It's very yeah. clever. Very clever. So for dinner, my mom and I went to this place called Yerba Buena, which happened to be right around the corner from where we were staying. And oh my goodness, you guys, this was our favorite restaurant that we went to our entire trip. The food was so good, like really, really epic. Um, something to keep in mind though, if you're going out to restaurants in Spain, do not order more than 10 to $12 worth of food because uh, I mean, we ordered a couple things that were appetizers, and if you look at these, like, one appetizer at this restaurant could have fed both of us for dinner. <laughs> the portion sizes were huge, but it was so, so yummy. The next night for dinner, we went to this place, Vega, which is an all-vegan tapas restaurant. Oh my gosh, it was so yummy and awesome to see the entire menu vegan. The dishes were pretty creative, really yummy, um, and we ordered a more decent amount of food that time. <laughs> uh, the desserts there were just epic. I cannot even tell you how excited I am to finally find this vegan market in Madrid. Like, we've had like a 50-50 success rate. 50% of the times we'll get somewhere and it'll be close for construction if it's a vegan spot. So this place is open, let's go in. One thing's for sure, there is no shortage of vegan cheese in Spain. I'm actually gonna do an entire video of vegan products that I found in Spain because there were so many little vegan and health food grocery stores that carried tons of awesome vegan stuff. So stay tuned for that. It was also really cool to see a whole bunch of vegan dog products that are completely different from what we have in the US. And then just as we explored Madrid while we were there, we just saw so many other vegan things along the way. This was another really vegan friendly uh, health food store. Not all vegan, but they had vegan mozzarella cheese, what? We saw vegan books and cookbooks at random cafes. You just see this vegan movement sprouting up all throughout the hotspots of Spain. So that is 
very exciting to me. And I'm sure if you go there in a few years, it's gonna be even more vegan friendly. My mom and I just finished having lunch at Yerba Buena here in Madrid. And it's our second time eating here because it is our favorite restaurant, I think, that we've had oh, this it whole is. trip. It's, it's amazing. amazing. It's so good. It's Very creative, inventive, flavorful, different kind Beautifully of food. plated. Beautifully um, plated. It's all vegetarian, but very clearly labeled the vegan options, and almost everything on their menu can be made right. vegan or is already <laughs> vegan. They have tons of desserts. So you have to visit this place if you go to Madrid. leave you guys with a little tip for international travel. If you request a vegan meal from your airline at least a week in advance, in most cases they will hook you up. And here's what I got from Swiss Air. Yay!